Hello everybody and welcome to Algebra 1 release question number 40. It says which graph best represents the solution to this system of inequalities. So we've got 2x greater than or equal to y minus 1, 2x minus 5 is less than or equal to 10. I'm going to draw a graph separate from what we see here. We're going to see which one the graph that we draw matches up with. And like magic, there's my graph. Okay, so over here on this left side, I'm going to do this inequality over here. So 2x greater than or equal to y minus 1. On this side, I'm going to do 2. I'm going to do this one in green. I'm going to do 2x minus 5y less than or equal to 10. And so I'm going to get both of these into slope intercept form. I think that's the easiest way to graph lines or inequalities and so let's do that first of all uh, to do that I would want y by itself on the left side and I would want the x's and the the constant terms by themselves on the other side so I'm going to subtract y from both sides and I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides that will get this to cancel here and here and there and there so leave me with negative y is greater than or equal to negative 2x minus 1 and then I want to get the sign to be positive here. So I need to divide everything by negative 1. Or I could think of multiplying everything by negative 1. It would effectively do the same thing. If I divide by a negative, though, or multiply by a negative, that's the only time when I consider that I need to switch the sign. And so this would become y is less than or equal to 2x plus 1. So now I can graph that one. I'll do that momentarily. But let me get this one into slope-intercept form as well. So I'll subtract 2x from both sides here and that will cancel out there and there. I guess I should do something like that if you want to keep that consistent. Just showing you that I'm putting all that stuff together like this. So I got that to cancel. I've got negative 5y here. I've got less than or equal to negative 2x plus 10 on the right side. Divide everything by negative 5 get rid of that number in front of the y. You divide it by a negative, so you gotta flip the sign around. This would be 2 fifths x plus, this would actually become minus, you got positive divided by negative, so you got minus 2. So right there is slope intercept form for the second inequality. Right there is slope intercept form for the first one. And so in red I will draw this one in green I'll draw this one and we'll see where they come together where they intersect where they both get shaded in other words so we've got y less than or equal to 2x plus 1 so your, your y intercept is at positive 1 so right here I'm drawing a point at positive 1 so y intercept is positive 1 your slope is equal to 2 and so a slope of 2 you're going up to right one up to right one so you've got a point here you've got a point here I'm gonna draw several points in if you went down to that'd be negative two you'd have to go negative one negative two divided by negative one would still be positive two or positive one notice all those all these dots all these points that we've plotted also make a straight line so we've got all that going on there now what kind of line is this looks like this is less than or equal to if it was strictly less than or strictly greater than, we would make it dashed. But it's not, so we make it solid. It's or equal to, so it could actually lie on this line. So I've got that line going here, not perfectly straight, but I, I connected the dots as best as I could freehand. Uh, and so from there, it's looking like all of these have that general tendency. It looks like all the lines are the same, it's just the shading that will be different. So now the shading. For this question, the most important part is the shading since all these lines look the same. So which way are we shading? Are we shading underneath or above this line? So think of this line right here kind of as a roof to a house or a building. It looks like a pretty steep roof here. It's sloped pretty positively, uh, sloped pretty steeply. Um, but think of rain coming down. It would be hitting the roof right here. This would be above the roof and if you were underneath the line here, you'd be below the roof. This is saying y less than or equal to. When I see something like this, it's a way that works every time. It's the way I, I like to teach it because I think it makes the most sense. 
uh, when you have less than or equal to I want you to shade below so let me write that in there a little better we're gonna shade below the line or below the roof if it's less than or equal to or if it's just less than or less than or equal to both of those times we would shade below so everything here is a possibility what this is saying is you could have a point that lies directly on this line that would satisfy this inequality or you could have a point anywhere in this shaded part that would also make this true that's really what it's saying in green now in green we've got y greater than or equal to two fifths x minus two over here the y-intercept is at negative two and the slope is two over five and so when we graph that we would have a y-intercept at negative two that's going to be down one two you got a y-intercept right here and if your slope is two over five you're going up to every time you go to the right five or you could think of it as going down two and to the left five that'd be negative two over negative five which would still equal positive two over positive five so if we graph this line we connect those dots and now the shading part this is going to determine which answer is actually correct uh, so we've got y now greater than if you have greater than or greater than or equal to you should think of shading above the line think of this as a roof what's above the roof this stuff would be above the roof so this part right here is above the roof now your answer your solution is where is it shaded in both red and green I'm gonna use a highlighter to to make this real clear here it is shaded both red and green and so this is our solution set this is the graph that would best represent that would be choice C because this is the stuff that lies in both solution sets uh, this is the stuff what they have in common in other words so number 40 looks like should be choice C.